Most diesel owners think changing an air filter is the easiest part of maintenance. Pull the old one out, pop in the new one, and you're done. But what if I told you that doing it the wrong way could actually steal power from your engine, burn more fuel, and even shorten the life of your turbo? Sounds crazy, right? But here's the truth. In several diesel performance shops and maintenance tests, over 70% of drivers who replaced their air filters by themselves ended up hurting performance instead of improving it. And it's not because they used the wrong filter brand. It's because of how they changed it. Stick with me till the end, because I'll reveal the biggest mistake most diesel owners make when installing new filters and a simple airflow trick used by professional mechanics to make your engine breathe better without touching your warranty. How diesel air filters actually work. Most people think a diesel air filter just keeps dirt out, but that's not the full story. In a diesel engine, the air filter is part of a precise air management system. It doesn't just stop dust, it controls how much air reaches your turbo and cylinders, affecting both power and fuel burn. Too much restriction, and your turbo has to work overtime just to pull air and wasting fuel and raising exhaust temps. Too little restriction, and fine dust particles slip through, scarring your turbo blades and cylinder walls like sandpaper. Here's something most drivers don't know. A slightly used filter often performs better than a brand new one. That's because that thin layer of trap dust actually helps capture even smaller particles, improving filtration efficiency. In tests done by fleet mechanics on long-haul trucks, engines with slightly used air filters showed no loss in horsepower and sometimes better fuel economy than those running brand new filters. So if you're changing your filter too often just to be safe, you might actually be wasting money and performance. Mistake number one, installing the filter backwards or loose. It sounds too silly to be true. But this happens more often than you'd think. Diesel air filters are directional, meaning they're designed to face a specific airflow direction. One side is usually reinforced with mesh or ribs to handle the high pressure pull from the turbo. If you install it backwards or even slightly off center, you're not filtering air, you're letting dirt sneak straight into the turbo and in intake. See how you end up with dust scoring, bent blades, or premature turbo wear? A veteran diesel mechanic once said, I've rebuilt more turbos because of bad filter installs than because of bad oil. So here's the rule. Always check for airflow arrows or markings on the filter. If there's none, remember this. The side with the wire mesh or ribs always faces the incoming air from the intake hose. And after installation, run your fingers around the seal to make sure it's seated perfectly. A tiny gap might not look like much, but to your engine, that's an open door for dust. Mistake number two, ignoring the air box. Here's something even pros sometimes skip, cleaning the air box before putting in a new filter. If your air box is dusty and you drop in a new filter, that leftover dirt gets sucked right back in as soon as you start the engine. That means your brand new filter is dirty within seconds. Smart diesel techs always vacuum or blow out the air box before installing a new filter. It takes one extra minute but can extend filter life by up to 30% and keep your turbo blades cleaner for longer. So next time before closing that air box lid, grab a microfiber cloth or a little compressed air. You're not just swapping filters, you're protecting your entire intake system. Mistake number three, using oiled filters without cleaning sensors. You've probably seen those flashy aftermarket oiled filters claiming better airflow and extra power. And yes, in theory, they do allow more air to move freely, but there's a big catch, especially in diesel engines. Those oiled fibers release tiny oil droplets that can coat your MAP or MAP sensor, the small electronic eye that measures how much air your engine is breathing. Once that sensor gets oily, it starts sending the wrong readings to your ECU. Your diesel then begins overfueling or underfueling, which leads to rough idle, black smoke, poor mileage, or even check engine lights. It's such a common issue that many manufacturers don't cover it under warranty if they find out an oiled filter caused it. So if you're using an oiled performance filter, make sure you clean your air sensors every 6,000, 10,000 miles using only a dedicated MAF or MAP sensor cleaner. Never brake cleaner, WD-40, or compressed air. A simple $8 cleaning spray can prevent a $400 sensor replacement. Mistake number four, forgetting about the crankcase breather filter. This one's often ignored, but it matters a lot for diesels. Most modern diesel engines have a crankcase breather system that recirculates oil vapors back into the intake. If the breather filter is clogged, 
Those vapors mix with dust and stick to your turbo compressor wheel, slowly forming a sticky film that restricts airflow. The result? You lose turbo efficiency, get more soot buildup, and start burning more fuel than normal. Mechanics recommend it. Checking or replacing the breather filter every second air filter change to keep airflow clean and balanced. It's a tiny part that can make a huge difference in long-term turbo life. Mistake number five, not sealing the filter edges properly. Even the best filter won't protect your engine if it's not sealed right. Modern diesel air boxes are often designed with tight clips or rubber gaskets that must seal evenly all around. If one corner is loose, Unfiltered air gets sucked straight into the intake. And that dirty air doesn't just stop there. It goes directly into the turbocharger, then into the intercooler and cylinders, carrying fine dust that slowly sands down metal surfaces from the inside. That's why many experienced diesel techs say, a cheap filter installed perfectly is safer than an expensive one installed wrong. Before closing the air box, always run your fingers around the seal. If you feel even a small gap or uneven surface, open it and reseat it. That two-second check can save your turbo from thousands of miles of hidden damage. Mistake number six, ignoring the cabin air filter. This one surprises most people. The cabin filter isn't just about fresh air inside the truck. It actually affects how your diesel engine breathes too. In many modern vehicles, the HVAC and intake systems share a partial vacuum zone. When the cabin filter gets clogged, it adds resistance to the overall airflow. That means your engine and turbo have to work harder to pull air, which can throw off readings from your sensors and reduce fuel efficiency. Some manufacturers like Hyundai and Ford even note in their service bulletins that neglected cabin filters can cause unstable idling and poor throttle response. So replace your cabin air filter every 12,000 to 15,000 miles. You'll not only breathe cleaner air, your diesel will too. Pro tip, check your filter without removing it. Here's a little mechanic trick. Don't touch your air filter unless you really need to. Constantly removing it can damage seals or drop debris into the intake. Instead, grab a bright flashlight and shine it from the back of the filter housing. If you see a faint glow passing through the filter pleats, it's still good. If it's completely dark, it's time for a replacement. It's quick, clean, and way safer than constantly opening up your air box. Choosing the right filter for your diesel. Not all air filters are built the same, and picking the wrong one for your driving style can quietly hurt your engine. Let's break it down simply. Paper filters. These are the most common and best for dusty environments or daily city driving. They trap the smallest particles and stay consistent even when a bit dirty. Synthetic or foam filters. Great for performance diesels or highway driving where you want smoother airflow and faster throttle response. Reusable cotton or oiled filters. These can work well if maintained correctly, but they're risky if neglected because excess oil can damage sensors or coat your turbo blades. So before you buy into the performance hype, ask yourself, do you drive mostly in dusty areas or open highways? Because your filter should match your environment, not just a brand's marketing claim. Fleet engineers from Bosch and K&N both agree. There's no universal best filter, only the one that fits how and where you drive. How to clean a reusable diesel filter the right way. If you're running a reusable or oiled filter, cleaning it the wrong way can actually make it perform worse than a dirty one. Here's the proper method diesel mechanics use. Tap out loose dirt gently, don't bang the filter. Spray cleaner from the clean side out, pushing dirt away from the fibers. Let it soak for 10 minutes, then rinse with low pressure water from the inside out. Let it air dry completely. Never use sunlight or a heat gun. If required, apply oil lightly and evenly, never oversaturate. Do it right, and a good reusable filter can last up to 400,000, 500,000 miles, practically the life of your diesel truck. The free trick that boosts airflow instantly. Here's a pro tip that costs nothing and takes just a couple of minutes. Most diesel engines have a resonator box or silencer chamber between the air filter and turbo inlet. Its job is to quiet the sound, but over time it collects oil vapor and dust that mess with smooth airflow. Just remove the intake hose, wipe inside that chamber with a clean microfiber cloth, and reinstall it. That simple cleanup helps your turbo breathe easier and gives you a smoother throttle response without changing a single part. It's basically a breathing exercise for your engine, and the results are instant. So next time you think changing your air filter is a quick two-minute job, 
Remember, a little care makes a big difference. Clean the airbox, seal the filter right, check your sensors, and match the filter to your driving style. Because in diesel engines, clean air means clean power. And that's what keeps your truck running strong for hundreds of thousands of miles. So, there you have it, the small details that make a big difference. When it comes to diesel engines, it's not just about changing parts, it's about changing them the right way. Clean the airbox, seat your filter properly, and never ignore those sensors. Because when your engine breathes clean, it runs smoother, burns less fuel, and lives a lot longer. If you learned something new today, hit that like button, it really helps the channel grow. And tell me in the comments, have you ever noticed a power drop after changing your air filter? Let's see how many diesel drivers have been doing it wrong all along. Until next time, take care of your diesel, and it'll take care of you.